All right, today I'm going to talk about inserting citations and um, a works cited page. Um, so I'm going to get, uh, all of this happens in Word, and I've got a Word document here on the screen. And most of it happens under the References tab at the top. So if you look up here in the References tab, there's an Insert Citation, there's Manage Sources, there's a Style, uh, and a Bibliography button. Those are the main things we're going to look at. Uh, right now. So what are we trying to do? Well, we've written a paper, let's say, a paper to publish or maybe a paper for a class we're taking and um, let's say that we need to cite who we, where we got our sources. We need to tell people, you know, um, where we got our information for our paper. So uh, almost always when you write a paper for school, for example, down at the bottom, you, bottom, you have something called a bibliography or your, your teacher may require you to have something called a works cited page. So um, how do we create those things? Well, if you've done this in the past and you didn't know any better, you would go into Word and then um, you would put a footnote in or an endnote um, into your paper and then you would have to go to the bottom of the page and you would create another page and you would type in a, uh, a bibliography or you would type in a works cited page and it would be a list of all the sources of information you would used in your paper or that you had referred to and you would just type them at the bottom. Well, I'm going to show you a much easier way of doing that, uh, a way that Word can actually keep up with all your source of information and really make it easy to edit so you don't really have to know all the particular ways of creating a works cited page or a bibliography like you might think you'd have to know. I can remember doing this uh, in years before Word had this feature and it was really hard to remember do you put the author's last name first, do you put the number, the, the page number, do you put the city or what, do you, what information do you need for a book versus a journal versus uh, a, a web page and it was just hard to keep up with that information but Word is your friend and will do all that work for you so I want to show you how to do that. So I've got this paper that I've written let's say and it's just, this is just an example paper. Um, I really didn't refer to any outside sources. Most of this is common knowledge, but I want to pretend like I did. So let's say that I wanted to, uh, that this, that this uh, concept right here, that uh, the plural of staff is staves. Let's say I got that information from a book. Okay, well, I want to put a, an endnote or a footnote uh, here to uh, reference that. So that would be, that's called a citation. Uh, citation is spelled like this, C-I-T-A-T. ION citation. That's a citation. You are citing the source of your information. And it's it's required of all papers uh, that you write. You have to give credit to the people uh, where you got the information. So let's just say I got this information from a book. Um, and let's and so how do I cite that? Well, first of all, you want to go up here and manage your sources of information. And so you click on manage sources, and if you look here. On the left hand side I have something called a master list, on the right hand side I have a current list. There's nothing in my current list, but I have a master list with s several different sources of information in it already. If you click along here, you can kind of see what they look like down here at the bottom. Uh, and these may have been from other papers I may have written in the past. For example, here's a citation, um, John Smith. Um, a book called Everything About Music from New York Musicians Publishing. Uh, here's maybe a book from um, the small, or, or maybe a, um, a website or something from, looks like a website um, from the Small Business Administration. Here's something, um, Valerie um, Calderon. Uh, wrote something. So here are, are sources that I've used in the past, but I'm not using them right now in this current document. In fact, I'm not, I don't have any source of information I'm using in the current document just yet. So, but I want to. So um, how would I do that? Well, first of all, let's say that for that, that information that I have right here, that I'm going to put in a citation right here on staves, right, that I've gotten that information from a book. And let's just uh, create a new source of information. This is your sources manager, so I want to create a new source of information. So I'll click on new, and then look, if you notice right here, this is the type of source, and so I need to tell what exactly, uh, what type of source of information this was. Was it a book? Was it a section of a book? Was it a journal article? Was it uh, a website, uh, an electronic source, a document from a website, art, um, uh, a, a patent, a film, How did it, where did I get this information? I'm going to just say I got it from a book. So I'm going to click on book and the author of the book, let's just say, was um, um, uh, Millie Vincent. Just making up a name here. And so here's Millie Vincent 
And um, the title of the book was The Everyday... This is a, a, a music kind of thing. So I'm going to say The Everyday Musician. I'm just making this up. And let's say it was published in 2016. And uh, let's say it was published in Houston. Um, and the publisher was uh, Music United. I don't know if that's a real publisher, but I'll just make that up. And um, misspelled publishing. I'm going to click that. So notice this is the information that it requires for a book. The, if you choose something different up here, it will give you different uh, fields that you can enter different information uh, according to what format you're using, what what is required. Um, you know, I also just kind of messed this up. I should have told you that to begin with, we should have chosen a particular format style. I'll come back to that in just a second, but I'm going to click OK here. And notice that it added this source into my current list for my current document, but it also went ahead and put the source into my master list that I can use later. Now, um, just a quick note here. I'm not worrying right now about where this master list is stored, but it's it's right now it's stored on my computer. And so if I go to a different computer, that master list may not be available. So we need to think about that, where we're doing our work, um, and that's kind of beyond the scope of this course uh, as to where all that data gets stored. But that just an interesting piece of information, where is that master list? Um, all right, and how does it get backed up and so forth would be something you would worry about if you wanted to hang on to it later after you've um, finished this document. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We have a current list. We have one item in our current list. I'm going to click close. Uh, it shows you how it would look in APA format, but I'm going to click close. And what I meant to tell you at the very beginning was I, sh I should have chosen a style right here. This is APA, which is a uh, bibliography uh, style. It's, um, there's different groups um, that come up with standards for a way a paper should be um, formatted. Uh, what you need to put in the, 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 the bibliographies or the works cited pages and so forth. Um, what uh, we use mainly around here is MLA, but it will depend upon what your teacher wants or if you're publishing for a journal, what the journal expects, what uh, formatting style you're supposed to use. I'm going to choose MLA 7th edition. Um, and um, so hopefully we've got that. Um, it'll change the, 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 uh, the format of our works cited uh, our reference uh, to match MLA standards. Okay, so I need to insert a citation for this information. So I click down here by staves and I want to insert uh, a citation. So I come here to insert citation. Now if you look, when I click on insert citation, that little arrow to the side, it only has this one source of information, Millie Vincent, um, the Everyday Musician book. That's the only source that I have available in my current uh, list. So that's all it gives me when I do insert citation. If I wanted to add a new source, I could do it here, but I could also go to manage sources like I just did earlier, and I could add uh, a new source by clicking here. So I've only got this one source, so it's only letting me choose that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, go ahead and insert that citation. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to insert uh, the Millie Vincent citation. So what I'm saying is this information right here about Staves came from this book by Millie Vincent, and this is what it puts in my paper. It puts Vincent. Um, and it says that's where I got my information. But how does a person reading my paper know that's a book by Millie Vincent and it was published in Houston and so forth? Well, what you usually do is at the end of your paper, you put in a bibliography or some people put in a works cited page. And so let's do that. I'm going to go down to the bottom of my paper. And at the very bottom, I'm going to insert a works cited page. So in order to do this, I go back to my reference tab, and I, I the word bibliography is here, but it's really a drop-down list to, to choose the type of um, references you're going to put at the end, reference page. So there's a bibliography page that I could choose, and that's how it would look right now, a uh, references page, and a works cited. So some teachers, some journals, um, some magazines prefer uh, bibliography, and others prefer works cited. We're going to go with works cited. If I click this right now, it'll be inserted right here where I have my insertion point. Um, so I can do that, and there's my works cited page. Notice it put Millie Benson in with the last name first. Uh, it put uh, italicized the, the book because it is a book, and it put all the other information in there just like it's supposed to be uh, in a works cited bibliography for MLA uh, 
style formatting. So that's really cool. It put it in there for us automatically. We didn't have to look all that stuff up. Now, I like to put this at the end of a book, at the end of, on a separate page. So what I do is I come back before that and control and enter will give you a new page. That's control, hold on the control key and press enter. And it puts this on a new page, creates a new page down below. So I've done that. My work cited is on a new page. If I click on this, notice I didn't just type all this in. Uh, I, the, a word created that for us. Okay, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, let's say that uh, I've got some other information, like let's say on this paragraph about dotted notation, I got that from another uh, source of information, and I want to put another um, citation in here to give them to, to give people reading my um, article here uh, information as to where I got my information. So I'm going to click here, and where do I go? I go back to references. And I'm going to add another source by clicking on Manage Sources. And in this case, the source actually I've already I've already entered it before, and it's in my master list. So one great thing is once you've entered a source of information, you don't have to um, to go back and redo that. Um, it's already there for you. So my source is John Smith, Everything About Music, and I am going to uh, copy it over into the current list. See, it's in my master list. I'm going to copy it into my current list. So now I have two items in my current list. Does that make sense? And one of them has been cited. I cited it. That means I referred to it at the bottom of my paper uh, by citing that it's in there. Got it? So I'm going to click uh, um, close and I am going to click down here uh, at the end of uh, where I'm, what I'm referencing here and I'm going to go to insert a citation. So notice when I click this now though there's two items to choose from. There's the John Smith book that I just added to my current list and there's the Millie Vincent book that I have. So I want the John Smith one here. So I click on that and it puts Smith. So notice it's got a citation here for Smith. You can actually click on this if you want to and you can actually edit that if you need to edit the citation and we'll do that in just a second. So um, notice back up here I've got um, Earlier in my document, I have Vincent right here. There's the citation for Vincent because this information I got from the Vincent book. And this information down below, where is it? This, where was it? Where was it? Come on, come on. There it is. I got Smith. Um, I got this information from the Smith book. Now, let's go look at our Works Cited page. Hmm. Looking at the Works Cited page, <clears throat> there's only the Vincent one. It should have the Smith one. Well, if, if, if you need to, what you have to do is come down here and click on it. And look, just click on Update Citations and Bibliography. And boom, look what's happened. I'm going to click off of this so you can see a little better. I click over here. Uh, it put in John Smith and Millie Vincent, and it put them in alphabetical order. It put them in exactly the way they're supposed to be. Uh, put in. So that's really quite cool. Also, uh, you might need to occasionally go back and edit a, a, a citation. And the citation we had for, for let's go back and edit Millie's uh, citation on Vincent. I can click on that, click on the right arrow. I can edit the citation. For example, let's say it was on pages, uh, it was uh, on page 45 that I um, that I referred to, I got my information, page 45 of the Vincent book. I could do that, 45, and watch what it does. It puts Vincent 45. That's people who read uh, uh, scholarly order articles understand that that means that came from the book by Vincent, uh, and it's on page 45. And if you want to know more about that book, you just go to the bottom and you look at your works cited um, page. Ah, oh, there it is. It's the Everyday Musician. So. Pretty simple and easy to do. I would save my document, and it would save all those sources with it, and um, then I can um, and I'm and I'm pretty much done. Just a couple of things. If I need to delete that, I can go to it. I can click on it. If I want to delete a citation, I can just hit backspace twice there, and it takes it out. Um, I can do Control Z to get it back in, but um, because Control Z is undo what I just did, Control Z uh, undoes. The thing you just did. So uh, also, if you want to get rid of your work cited page, um, you can go, of course, to the bottom. You can highlight it, and then you can delete it like that by pressing the delete key. Uh, delete key. Control Z to undo that because I don't want to delete it. All right. So that's how you do it.